New state law will go into effect tomorrow. That'll make it a criminal offense to sleep on public property. But one UCF researcher claims the homeless are already getting arrested in downtown Orlando. New 6 investigator Eric Sandoval brought what he found to Orlando's police chief. We started off with October 2019. There's about maybe three to five citations per day. Dr. Andrew Sullivan with UCF School of Public Administration says he focused on the reports of every homeless person arrested for an Orlando City ordinance violation over the past six years. So what did you find? Yeah, and so we found that starting in about uh, last fall, uh, there is a big increase in citations of people overall, but especially people experiencing homelessness. When he compared October of 2022 to the same month a year later, Sullivan found the number of panhandling violations went up 200 percent. Violations for urinating in public went up 175 percent. And public camping or sleeping on public property in Orlando went up 375 percent. So what's happening here? We went to Orlando Police Headquarters to ask Chief Eric Smith to get some answers. We're not out there to arrest people. We're out there actually to give services, give helps to people. Smith says OPD's numbers don't stack up with the UCF professors. He says the department's new homeless intervention unit has made contact with a little more than 18,000 people this year so far. Out of that, they've made about 320 arrests. That amounts to 1.78%. Sometimes you get people, like anybody in life, having a bad day. Those are the people we end up having to arrest. Hey, you got to leave this person's property. Not happening. No, come on, buddy. Let's leave this guy's property. Nope. Okay, we have. that's the only option we have. In Orlando, Eric Sandoval, Getting Results News 6.